it's not worth it. It, it ain't worth it because nobody. I, okay, okay. What I get out of gang, bro? This three three holes on this side of my arm. Bro, this gang, bro. You see that? See the difference from my elbows? This all plates from right here, all the way to up there. You see where the line at? I got shot in this arm three times, right here. Once right here in my neck. Like you see what I'm saying? Like this neck bullet came out right here from gang. So ask me, is it worth it? Hell no, it's not worth it. And you got a bullet in your spine too? And I got one in my spine, five in my legs. You know what I'm saying? Like I move a certain way. I ain't gonna lie. I move a couple of ways as a as a, the king that I feel myself at. Bro, I move a few ways. Bro, I don't move. I don't do all that. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not finna normalize killing children. Like I say, imagine if I was a every motherfucker after my baby got killed, and I was emotionally damaged to the point where I was like, "Give me the gun. We finna go through that bitch." And I just shot everything that I seen because it's niggas that's like that. I'm not like that though, bro. I'm not finna kill no kids just because somebody killed my kid, bro. I'm not like that, bro. These kids don't have nothing to do with nothing. Me, on the other hand, if you would have killed me, that's fair game. If I would have died, people could have cracked jokes about it, all type of shit. But, like, children and women, bro, I stand on that. Like, everybody who put me in this shit, blessed me in this shit, that's what they taught me. Mm. Even GDs, BDs, foes. I done talked to some old folks, like, bro, that shit in everybody law. We don't kill kids, bro. We don't rape kids. We don't do none of that shit, bro. Like, so that's that, definitely law to the shit inside in and out of jail. Man, you made a comment and you said. For anybody who calling me police, F y'all, God bless y'all. Like, why does you say that, bro? Because by me following the laws to the street and the rules to the streets, people look at me like the police because I want justice for my daughter. What, what's, the, what, what's the approach? I know you say you want you want justice, like you want the killers locked up. Yeah, I want the, I want the killers locked up. With you being in a the gang, they viewed you like your own gang or just people on the internet or whatever. Everywhere. Uh, my uh, own people. A lot of people start, nah, I ain't gonna even say everywhere. Real motherfuckers, real niggas. Cause I understood still, you. Real niggas understood me because they know this gang shit, it comes with laws and it comes with politics for real. It's not just out here shooting guns and killing the first motherfucker you see. That's not what it is. We, we, it's really supposed to be an organization. Like, when you go to jail, you get on count. Count is to defuse situations that can be defused. You don't get on count just because it's a lot of y'all. You know how many times I, had, I done had to violate one of mine because he did something bogus in jail? For real. Yeah, we don't just, we not just get them because count... Count teaches you discipline. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had, if, if somebody won't count with us, let's just say it's me and you and 10 other motherfuckers, we all CBL and don't count. We all together. And you, you call one of the GDs out their name. Are you a pussy? Now, that starts a whole fight in jail because people don't play about certain words in jail, bitch, pussy, because we in jail, nigga. Like, you ain't finna. So, now after y'all fight, we got to whoop your ass for causing that stupid ass shit for being disrespectful to him. Even though he ain't want to ball because it's respect. Why would you call that grown ass man a pussy? You see what I'm saying? I feel you. Like that's how, that's what I'm cut from. Like that's what CBL was to me. I'm not out here just doing it because it look cool. My old man, my old man will tell you, my old man writes my paperwork down just recently, like four years ago. Wrote all my paperwork down and I gave it to all my little brother them. That's how I'm invested in it. You see what I'm saying? Uplift that brother. You see what I'm saying? Like better yourself. That's that's what we teach each other. Like we don't. It ain't just the destruction of a black man with games with me, bro. Like when I'm when, when I'm with my brother, bro, I, t I tell him right from wrong. And if, if they gonna do wrong, I teach them how to do wrong the right way. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Man, so it, it sounds like, bro, to a certain extent, you were a leader. Basically. Like you, you was one of the big dogs, like yeah. in, in, on on your block. Not even the one with the money. It's just the, the I I I connected with the youth more. You see what I'm saying? I was rapping. I was hot. I was going to jail. I played with guns. And then everybody who was older than me who had money was looking at me like, you hot. Stop being stupid. Same shit I'm telling my little brother them now. Like, Joe, stop being stupid. That's why they looked up to me like that because they knew that I wasn't just going to tell them. I, I didn't tell them to do anything I wouldn't do. Half these niggas is. Half niggas did me when I was coming up. Send you off. Niggas told me to do everything they wouldn't do. Mm. So when I got with my little brother them, Oh, come on, I'm in the car with y'all. You see what I'm saying? Like, so now they like, damn, I love big bro. It ain't big homie, it's big bro. It's my big brother. Ain't no big homie. We broke as hell out here. Bosses feed they people. This broke nigga shit. I'm just a big brother. I'm showing y'all how to do wrong the correct way. 
Because I love y'all, I don't want to see y'all in jail. Even though it's all wrong, God forgive us for everything. But at the end of the day, it's, it's the situations, it's the circumstances at hand. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you got to make through it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, um, but it, I'm just curious, man. Like, so, so the people who got locked up, man, prior to that, like, even on that day, did you recognize them before everything happened? When you saw them drive through the exit, bro? Because... Y'all had, I know at least one of the dudes, y'all was on live, like, or you was in his comments and stuff like that. So y'all had, like, some type of history. And it was VLs too, right? Yeah, they, they, yeah, they tried. That's what I'm saying. They just a different fraction. I'm CVL, they Which, TVL. I mean, but if y'all under the same nation, it, it, don't work, it don't work like that. I don't, I'm just on the outside and, looking in. In you know? jail, it used to work like that. Even out here, it used to work like that. But, see, that's what I'm saying. They removed all the the piece, the people. Like, mm -hmm. once you, they say you kill it, you, you kill it, the body fall. Like, so if you take Larry Hoover away from all the GDs, this is what you have. You see what I'm saying? If you take uh, Dave Bockdale away from all the BDs, this is what you have. You see what I'm saying? Like, even if you take Malcolm X away from black people, Martin Luther King away from black people, this is what you have. Destruction among black people. Games was never made to cause harm amongst us. It was made to govern our own communities. Because the police wasn't. You see what I'm saying? It was we 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 made gangs so the little boy could walk across the street without getting hit by a street a straight bullet. You see what I'm saying? That's why we made gangs, not for this this, this like I said this broke nigga shit. I don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah, I partake in it. Yeah, I did what I did, bro. But at the end of the day, gang banging is a broke nigga activity. Anybody who say different is lying because you can't get no money gang banging. Don't nobody want to fuck with you gang banging. You not worth shit gang banging. Nobody wants to. Why would I give you a hundred thousand dollars worth of drugs? And your name steady popping up in homicides and you see what I'm saying? You a liability to a real nigga who got a legitimate business running. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro. You even saying that, man, like on the outside looking at you come from the life. But you know, like the people who didn't live that life, they glamorized by it or uh, infatuated with it. I mean, because to a certain extent, bro, it's like enticing, you know, to see like, okay, you got... Respect, you got a reputation, you know, the women flock to the, you know, they say the bad guys, quote unquote, you getting paper. Not everybody getting paper that's in gangs, but you know what I'm saying? It's just like yeah. the whole aura and image surrounded by that type of lifestyle. It's you know a, what I'm saying? You, you basically living a rapper lifestyle, but broke. Like, you broke as hell living a rapper lifestyle, no bullshit. Like, but you saying it's not worth it. It, it ain't worth it because nobody, I, okay, okay, what I get out of gang shit? Bro, this. Three, three holes on this side of my arm. Look, this gang shit, bro. You see that? See the difference from my elbows? This all plates from right here all the way to up there. You see where the line at? I got shot in this arm three times. Right here. Once right here. In my neck. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, this neck bullet came out right here from gang shit. So, ask me, is it worth it? Hell no, it's not worth it. And you got because a bullet in your spine, too? And I got one in my spine, five in my legs. For real? Like, you feel me? Like, no bullshit. So, you is it worth it? Like no. 11, 11, 12 times? I be laughing. So, is it worth it? Hell no, because what I get from it? Every time I went to jail, I had to come home and start over. Every time I went to jail, nobody sent me nothing but the girl I was dealing with and my mother and my sisters. So... I lost my daughter. Every nigga who I thought was game turned their back on me because they said, oh, quote unquote, you the police, not understand. Nobody sent me your condolences. The first thing motherfucker was said, oh, sure, let, let us get street justice. Niggas was so caught up in the, the street shit that a nigga here just bypassed that my daughter got killed. Niggas was so ready for me to be like, shorty, we finna go through that bitch. And I'm like, no, nah. no, nah, I'm cool because, you know what I'm saying, it's different. This is not Lil C. Tory Big Shorty. This is not gang. This is my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So, niggas, yeah, yeah like, gang shit ain't worth it. Mm. If a nigga turn their back on you when you lose your daughter, come on now, bro. Ain't no love there at all, right or wrong. Mm. If you can't stand with me, I don't give a fuck what I said to the news. If my, even though my name not on no paperwork. If my name was on paperwork, I don't give a fuck what I said. This is a, a my child. As a brother, you stand behind your brother in these type of decisions. Because this is not no street shit. You see what I'm saying? So, is it worth it? Hell no. Because if, if y'all turned on me like that, y'all would turn on me. I can't trust y'all with nothing. Because this matters the most. This is my daughter. I expect the motherfuckers to be behind me 100% behind my daughter. Not like the same way y'all was behind me when I was pushing ignorance, ignorance shit. You know what I'm saying? But the moment I started talking positive and 
You know what I'm saying? That shit, you know, the algorithms ain't picking up, picking up no positive or shit. I ain't gonna lie. Do you do you still like identify as uh, like a member of CVL? Uh, yeah. So well, even through all of that, go ahead. I, I mean, I mean to cut you off. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, you you good. Um, yeah, because CVL is a legitimate organization, literally on Google. It's LLC and everything. Bobby Gore, the Fowlers. This shit not a game again. I'm smart enough to know this. I ain't seen them, seen them a gang. I'm CVL. You see what I'm saying? Bobby Gore, like this a this a little but a little legitimate business, documented from the seventies. So hell yeah, because I'm not I'm that's not me admitting. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I could say that. Like, because most motherfuckers don't understand that it's a difference from, you got CNM out here and CVL. CNM is conservative vice lord, but they don't understand what it was built for. Conservative vice lord was literally to build, to uplift my brother, to uplift the next man that's standing next to me, to make sure his head on straight. Like, even in jail, like, we get paperwork. The paperwork don't tell you to do nothing bad. The paperwork actually makes you better yourself, literally. You got to learn this paperwork for in, in three days or you can't come out your cell. And then when you come out that cell, you're going to be disciplined. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be reckless. You're not going to be disrespecting niggas, calling niggas bitches. And, you know what I'm saying? Because you understand how far one little word could be misinterpreted in certain places. Like, you could say bitch out here to a nigga freely, probably. Because it's the it's the place where we at. Like, motherfucker, it's free. Like, but in there, everybody got something to prove. So, you know what I'm saying? So, when you, like, all I got to say, on these counts, you're going to be disciplined as hell, bro. Like, motherfuckers not going to let you just say anything, do anything. Mm. And, bro. <clears throat> the only reason I asked you that is because you said that you felt like your same brothers turned their backs on you. So why still align yourself with that that lifestyle or that group? Uh, because that was like see them. You see what I'm saying? My little bro them see them. They don't. They didn't take the time to understand their paperwork. Like I don't align myself with them. Like when you say is you still CVL? Right. Like I say, that's because I can say CVL because CVL is a legitimate, a real legitimate no, thing. Like, honestly, you know what I'm saying? But as far as seeing them, the gang banging part of the CVL, no, nah, I ain't. I don't affiliate with that side no one so well. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I only preach, I only say that I'm that because I still merchant on the sea all the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably not in interviews, but I'm talking to my brother now. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's in me, not on me. I ain't doing it for the for the image. Like, my daddy, them really. Like, you know what I'm saying? With Vice Lord and, and, and Bloodshed and Tears. Like, we got blocks for this shit. Like, so, it ain't, I ain't saying it for the image and I ain't saying it to to push this on the youth. I'm only, like, if people Google what I'm saying, you will see, like, for real, for real, like, it's a real, it's a real LLC. Nah, for sure, for sure, bro. It's a real uh, LLC business.